Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Service Now 911. As promised, I am back with a video where we discuss process automation designer from scratch. If you have not watched the overview video, please watch it because it contains all the terms and conditions, all the possible vocabulary for this particular designer. Okay, so once you have that, then you can come to this video. So with this note, let us start and create a process from scratch. So today we are going to discuss this process and its name is Playbook Hung Monitor Tool Zabbix. And below you can see the structure of this process. It has three lanes. What is lanes? What is activity? You can find in the overview video. So it has three lanes. First one is assessment, then assignment and then closure. In each lane we have two activities. So now let's go to the demo instance and create this process. This is my demo instance. Go to process automation designer. Click on it, click on create a new process, provide the label here, same name, description, same application global, click on select trigger and here we have to define the trigger or we can choose the existing one. Let's click on defining the trigger and when you want to trigger this particular flow or trigger this playbook, whenever a record is created, that is whenever incident is created, so click on See your trigger conditions where we can specify more trigger conditions. Provide the table name. So table name is incident. Set the condition. So I have two conditions here. Category software and short description is this one playbook and the name of the process. So whenever an incident get created with these conditions, this flow or this process will get triggered automatically. Now go to designer. So you see the same interface here. This is the name of the playbook and you see all the properties and triggering conditions here. Okay. Now it's time to add the lanes. Click on add lane. You have to provide the label here. So the label is assessment. We want to run it immediately because this is the very first lane. Click on save. So like this we can add other two lanes such as assignment and closure. Assignment after previous and the last one is closure that is closure of incident after previous okay these two are after previous because once this will start automatically after all the activities of this one completes it will come here all the activities of this one get complete then it will come here okay so in this way we can add a number of lanes and arrange it it's time to add the activities one by one so in assessment we have two activities here so the very first activity is assignment group to service text immediately that is auto assignment. So click here add activity go to the activity known as automated update record click on it provide the label when you want to start this activity obviously immediately because this is the very first activity of very first lane that's why it is immediately. Otherwise, we have other options as well, which we will trigger in the next activities. Go to automation. So what you want to do in automation, we have to update a record automatically. Which record we want to update? That is the incident record, which is in current, right? So go here, trigger incident and select the incident record. This means we are updating the triggered record, okay? The current incident. Which field we want to update? Select the field that is assignment group. What value of assignment group select here that is service tax. Done. Click on save. So this is how we create the first activity. Update assignment group. Come back here. See what is the next activity that is instructions. Okay. Here we have to provide certain instructions to the agent to review incident. So click on add activity. Go to instructions. Same activity is available here. Provide label. So here we are giving instruction to the agent that verify incident and see if all the fields are properly filled. Fields such as category and CI, right? And it will start after previous, okay? Because once this one is complete, then we want to start this one, okay? So this is it. We only want to instruct in this activity. Click on save. Finally, this particular lane is complete. We come to here where the agent will create two incident tasks. And these incident tasks will be for monitoring and networking team. You see here. 
So we come here under assignment, click on add activity. So if you want to create a task, come here, click on create record. So you have to understand each and every activity accordingly. Okay, so this is create record. So let's say provide the label that is networking task. We want to start it after previous, right? After instructions, come to the automation. So first of all, we have to select a table like where we want to create the record. That will be incident task. Select incident task here. Now you have to provide the template fields. It means the fields which you want to populate automatically with this task. So let's say I want to populate first of all assignment group because we want to assign this task to the networking team. Select the assignment group here. It's network. Let's say we want to update short description as well so that we can instruct the agent or the person who are working on this records. So here we are instructing the team to check the network connectivity and provide the result, provide the feedback. That's it. We want to update only two fields. Click on save. In the same way, we want to create one more activity where we have to specify the monitoring task. Again, click on activity. Go to create record in the same way. Monitoring task. After previous, come to automation. Select a table that is incident task. Provide the fields you want to update. First of all, assignment group. It will be monitoring, monitoring tool. Add one more field that is short description to instruct the agent. So we want the agent to monitor this 24 seven and share the logs with us. Only these two fields, that is okay. Click on save. So with this, ladies and gentlemen, the assignment lane is also complete. Finally, we come to the closure where we have to create two activities. The very first one is checklist so that the agent will open and see whether all the incident tasks are verified or not. And then finally, we will close the incident after verifying and providing the closure notes. So come here and click on add activity in the closure section. Very first one is checklist. So you see checklist task here. So its label is final review. We want the agent to see the checklist and provide final review. We want to start it after previous, after this one. Come to automation, provide the checklist template. So we already have created a template under monitoring automation process checklist. Okay. It's nothing but a simple template which has certain checkboxes. That's it. So once we are done, you can click on save. So the final review checklist is ready. Finally, the last activity is closing the incident and what we do, we will close the incident directly from here. So for that, we have to provide the fields and how to provide the fields. We have to use user forms. So the label is verify and closure. And finally, description is verify the issue with user and close the incident. It's after previous. That's good. Come here. So here you have to provide the name of the table from where you want to show the records or show the fields and it will be an incident table. Select it after table, which record you want to update. Obviously it is the current record. Okay. The record where the run book get attached. So the record is dynamic and it will be trigger incident incident record. Okay. Then we have to provide the form fields name of the fields which we want to see on the run book. Okay. So you see here what all fields we provide here. It will come in the run book and you need not to go to the incident in your native instance. All you have to do is just update those fields here and close the incident. So we want to show the state field comma close quotes comma close notes. So these are the three fields which we want to show. First one is state and then the field from the resolution section. Click on save. So with this ladies and gentlemen, the process is ready. Okay. It's time to activate it. Click on activate. It is published. You see here. Now we just need to test it. See the properties. What we have to do category software and short description is this one. Okay. So now come here, go to agent workspace. Because we are designing this process for agent only, right? Click on it. 
go to incidents click on new select the caller select the category is software right we have to fulfill the condition provide the short description click on save so you see as soon as the incident is created the playbook is attached automatically because this particular incident is specifying the condition of the playbook which we have designed here right and according to the process you see all the three items here all the three lanes assessment assignment and closure so now the agent will follow these lanes follow these activities and complete the incident process as soon as possible so ladies and gentlemen this is the complete process automation designer from scratch I hope you understand the process and based on your process based on your company structure and configuration you can design your own process whatever questions you have let us know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe and share this video thank you so much bye bye